Everyone feels sad from time to time. Sadness is a part of being human and a part of being alive. However, it is also possible to feel a different type of sadness. One that seeps into every aspect of your life and refuses to go away in spite of your best efforts. Have you been feeling a sadness similar to this? Here are five signs you're clinically depressed, not sad. Number one, persistent sadness. As previously mentioned, it is normal to experience sadness every now and then, but it is important to pay attention to what you're feeling as well as how persistent your feelings are. Do you constantly feel sad, anxious, numb, or empty? Is your sadness intermingled with feelings of worthlessness, hopelessness, and guilt? Have you been feeling this way for most of the day, nearly every day, and for at least two weeks now? If so, you may be clinically depressed rather than simply sad. Number 2. Loss of interest in activities Have you lost interest in activities that you used to enjoy? Maybe you normally love to sing or draw, but neither of those seem to be fun for you these days. It is one thing to feel down, and another to lose interest in all or most of your favorite activities. Are you unable to find pleasure in these things, even when you try to enjoy yourself? Have you been feeling this way for most of the day, nearly every day? If so, you could be falling into a depression. Number 3. Difficulty concentrating Has it been difficult for you to concentrate lately? Perhaps you've been having trouble focusing on school or office work, or even simple tasks at home. In addition to this, you may have also been more indecisive than usual, and find it harder to make daily choices. If you experience these nearly every day, you may be clinically depressed, and your depression may be interfering with your daily tasks. Number 4. Sleep, Appetite, and Aches Depression doesn't just affect thoughts and emotions. It can have physical effects on you as well. Have you noticed changes in your body lately? Perhaps you've been struggling with headaches, body pains, cramps, stomach aches, or digestive problems that you can't find the cause of. Have you been losing or gaining a significant amount of weight? Due to depression, you may have been eating a lot more or a lot less than you used to. Perhaps you have been unable to sleep properly in spite of feeling fatigued. All of these changes can occur as a part of clinical depression. Number 5. Suicidal Thoughts One critical sign that your sadness is a part of a deeper clinical depression is that you are having reoccurring thoughts of death. You might have considered or planned out a suicide or maybe even attempted it. If you have been struggling with this, please seek help from a qualified professional as soon as possible. Did you relate to any of these points? If these symptoms are causing significant distress or impairment in your social life, work or school, or other important aspects of life, you may have depression. Symptoms can vary in severity and frequency, depending on the individual. You may experience most of these signs, or perhaps only a few, but more urgent concerns. It is important to reach out to a professional for a complete diagnosis. If you or anyone you know could be struggling with depression or suicidal thoughts, please do not hesitate to reach out to a qualified mental health care provider. We included a list of hotlines in the description box below. Thanks for watching.